before we start this video, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Quid. If you're not familiar, Quid is an awesome new app where you can open packs and collect stickers, gifts, cards, 3D figures, all that stuff, all for free, and it's right on your phone. And it's just like, it's like Bitmoji, but it's better, because it's, it's more expressive. They have tons of stuff from Game of Thrones, Rick and Morty, Adventure Time, Steven Universe, Gumball, and they just dropped a new Marvel section, so go check that out. You can drag and drop the stickers and the gifts and the iMessage. Bam, I got bodied by Jake Paul, because Asha Vox set me up, I promise. I'm not that kind of person. And it's just like real life. You can collect Funko figures, trading cards, you name it, and you can actually trade them. And if you want to trade with us, we trade a lot. Me and Haley both use the same account. Go check us out right here. There's a username. Bam, Cartoon Universe. You can trade with us if you get some cool Steve Universe stuff. As you can see, uh, we're we're opening some packs here, and we, we have a lot of them. We didn't get a lot of new ones because we we use this we use this app a lot. You don't have to pay for anything. You get tons of new coins all the time, just like that. Random money. There's new stickers, gifts, cards, and figures every single day. You can even make a unique showcase on your profile page. There we got the crossover everybody wanted. We got Breaking Bad meets Steven Universe. Gus Fring is coming, boy. Don't worry about the diamonds. Also, I'm here because you could put yourself in there too. See, look, I'm in the middle of the action. You can download Quid in the links down below in the description and in the comments and come trade with us. It's a good time. It's fun. Now, here's the video. All right. What is going on guys? This is Michael Williams from Cartoon Universe and this is going to be a quick Steven Universe update video, sort of a follow up from yesterday's video. Uh, if you were not aware, we actually got some pretty interesting pieces of information on yesterday's credits for Steven Universe. They finally aired the uh, Gemcation and Dewey wins and at the end of the credits we got some new songs and a new character. If you're not aware of what we got in the credits, go check out the link at the end of this video for that video so you can be all caught up, up to date and informed. You good? You went? You left? You came back? You saw everything? You're, you're, you're up to speed? Great. So there was uh, one piece of information in those credits that was very interesting to me which was the new character Sunshine Justice. Very interesting name, very artsy name and we've never seen her before. I'm assuming it's a her and we've never seen this character ever before and it's just it's 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 interesting but I had a, I had a thought that maybe this character is a mystery girl and I think there's actually a lot of evidence to suggest that this very well may be the case so obviously you know you're probably thinking most people have been assuming that Mr. Girl was Sabina which was the girl that Kevin mentioned in Kevin Party. I'm gonna get to that in a second so just bear with me let's go off of the narrative that Sunshine Justice is actually Mr. Girl. There's quite a few pieces of evidence. One uh, her name begins with an S. We know that Mr. Girl's name begins with an S that was on the piece of paper that she gave to Pearl so S Sunshine Justice that makes sense that's pretty no-brainer uh, alphabets are a thing but another Another really interesting piece of information is she's actually voiced by Joan Jett and assuming that this is the same Joan Jett like rock singer Joan Jett uh, this would be a pretty big guest star role she's done a lot of hit songs back in the day in the rock world so it, it, she probably wouldn't be too cheap <laughs> I would imagine uh, I don't know if she would be like Nicki Minaj levels expensive because Nicki Minaj is like a more current running artist. She's a very famous rock singer and Sabina doesn't, t Sabina, I already said Sabina, Sunshine Justice, Mystery Girl, whoever she is, Mystery Girl does not talk in Last One Out of Beach City. If you remember correctly, she doesn't say an entire word the entire time. We do see her talking with Pearl, but we never hear a single piece of their conversation until Pearl relays it to Steven and Amethyst. So... I think it's pretty fair to believe that whoever is going to voice Mr. Girl is going to be some sort of guest star that is probably somewhat of a budget. <laughs> We've seen this done before. We see moments where Sardonyx didn't say anything because they couldn't get the guest star. We've definitely seen Sugalite come back. Probably never going to see Sugalite talk ever again in the rest of the series because Nicki Minaj voices her. And, you know, we've seen her show up, but she didn't say anything. They specifically wrote the scenes where she was in, or I guess the one scene Sugalite did return in, so she didn't need any dialogue. They've done this with a lot of different characters that had guest star Smoky Quartz recently, they did it with. So it looks like that's probably what it was. I guess the only reverse is we've never heard Mr. Girl talk before, so that's kind of the only difference. I don't know why they chose not to have the guest star for that. I guess they didn't want the focus to kind of shift too much because it was a very Pearl-centric episode. So that's another piece of information. So I think it's very likely the reason that Mr. Girl did not talk in Last One Out of Beat City is because 
she's voiced by Joan Jett, rock singer Joan Jett, and to get her to voice her would be pretty expensive, and it's it's pretty fair that they already had her cast at that point. And if they, even if they didn't, they probably planned to cast her as potentially a rock singer. And that brings me to my next point. She sounds like she would be a rock singer because Joan Jett is voicing her. Sunshine Justice. That sound that doesn't sound like a normal name and again we're gonna get back to that piece of information in a second but there's actually a special episode coming up uh at some point we don't know when i'm assuming soon okay if if i am correct and sunshine justice is in fact mystic girl we'd probably be getting this episode pretty soon but there's an episode where we had some promotional art that actually leaked this is a while ago now i'm surprised we still have not seen this episode and it's with pearl and mystery girl and amethyst and steven are there i guess as wingmen and it seems like there's sort of a date going on, but the episode is called The Show. Now, obviously, the promotional art kind of gives us a picture that is some sort of skater date, but that might only be piece a piece of the date. It is possible that if it's called The Show, why would it be called The Show? Maybe Mystery Girl slash Sabina slash Sunshine Justice is actually a singer, and that would kind of make sense with the title The Show. The Show could also be something else entirely. Maybe Pearl's trying to act super badass and sick and crazy and edgy, so that's she's putting on a show, or it could be a double entendre. We've seen that before with Steven Universe episode titles, where it means more than one thing. So I think that's definitely a possibility, and that would also back that up. She's voiced by Joan Jett. Joan Jett is a rock singer. Sunshine Justice is some sort of singer, and that's what The Show actually means. Now, going back to Sabina. Could her name still be Sabina? Yes, <laughs> her name could totally still be Sabina. It's possible that Sabina is her actual name, and then Sunshine Justice is just her stage name. Sunshine Justice sounds like a very stage name type of thing, so I could imagine that definitely being the case. So either Sabina is somebody else entirely, and the writers were either giving us a misdirection, which would be kind of a stretch, because that's a pretty important detail to know that Mr. Girl's name begins with S. I feel like only us hardcore nerds are really paying attention to that sort of thing, so that might not be a misdirection. Sabina could just be someone else entirely that we're going to see later on down the line, and they're just trying to plant seeds for Kevin's development, and she just happens to have a name that begins with S. That's absolutely possible. Or Mystery Girl is both Sabina and Sunshine Justice, Sunshine Justice being her stage name and Sabina being her actual name. But I think that's pretty much all the information I have for that. What do you guys think about this? Do you think Sunshine Justice could actually, in fact, be uh, Mystery Girl? Do you think that's a possibility? Or do you think it's just some, it's just Sabina and Sunshine Justice is somebody else entirely? And how do you think this is all going to come together? Could this potentially have some sort of connection with Sadie and the cool kids and their band? Could there maybe be some musical rivalry that they're setting up? That'd be pretty interesting. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more Steven Universe updates, theories, and news. We have some stuff coming your way this week, so be on the lookout for that and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we actually do these things. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams. You've been watching Cartoon Universe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.